Hello friends, welcome back to OG Universe. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on the turntable, we're doing a bit of something different, a little broader interpretation and review of some characters using the same body buck, but to varying degrees of success. So what we got on the turntable is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label Animal Man from the Human Zoo storyline. So now a lot of people are probably looking, who is this Animal Man character? Now he's been around a long time from the 60s, he had a big push back in the 80s when Grant Morrison was writing this comic book. And he's a very interesting character. He's a character that can tap into the kind of like uh, frequency of animals and can replicate their powers when they're nearby in proximity. Now, he got his eight powers from an alien. There's been a lot of different convoluted kind of origins, but this one is the one version of Animal Man that I'm used to because I try to grab, when I started reading comics and getting into the Justice League especially, I really thought the Justice League Europe team was unique. It had some really interesting characters and a really cool lineup that hopefully will get completed in action figure form. But Animal Man just stood out. He had such a cool look. Now, this figure is missing something from the classic traditional Animal Man that we're all used to, and that is his leather jacket. Now, we're going to get to a lot of points of discussion, but let's take a look at the packaging, what you get with this character. So, it's standard gold label. I mean, nothing new here. You got the nice gold label trim. You got the Animal Man at the bottom, Human Zoo. And you also have some kind of generic artwork, not even the best version, but he's got clear goggles and a jacket. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately he didn't come with any of those, but he did come with this. So he came with his trading card, stand, a couple extra set of hands, and this Wolverine non-posable character which it doesn't look too bad but um i mean if you want to have them posed with them on your shelf go for it sure i really would rather have had the leather jacket than this and before we even get into the review i want to bring this point up because it just doesn't make sense what they're doing at mcfarlane toys sometimes sometimes they put out stuff that makes so much sense it's fantastic and i'm extremely appreciative and i'm happy to be collecting this series but they produced and put out this McFarlane Collector Series figure of Superman, which is a reuse, rehash body, just like Animal Man is. But he has only one set of hands, the crypto non posable figure, and he also has the trading card display. The nice silver embossed lettering on the side, all that kind of good stuff. But essentially, you're getting this figure here, which includes everything except that display stand for your trading card, and he's only $26. I just don't understand the math and how McFarlane can justify charging this much for a Superman, this much for an Animal Man. They're essentially the exact same packing. Actually, you get an extra set of hands with Animal Man. I just don't get it. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments, what McFarlane is doing, why he's doing this. Come on, man. What's going on? We all kind of know. But I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. So let's get down to this Ashen figure. Now, Animal Man, when I saw him on the shelves, and I'm like, wow, this figure looks actually really striking. It looks really cool. Very nice head sculpt. He's got the basic design body that they've been using for all of these characters here. Captain Adam, Dead Man, Riddler, Nightwing, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, and the brand new Green Lantern figure from the NFT digital series. So we've been using and seeing this figure body for quite a few times. Now, I don't mind it because this is the first one I've ever opened. I've had the Blue Beetle and Booster Gold pack for quite a while. I've never got around to opening it. But actually opening this figure, you could see the advances in articulation and the advances in action figure construction because this is an incredible well-made figure on that body buck yeah i hate having non-sculpted kind of stuff just painted on like this i do not like but they did a fantastic job transitioning the dark navy blue onto the orange there's no bleeding no issues whatsoever. I even like that little kind of spike triangular thing here going on on his boots. 
Now, the biggest way you can tell that this figure was using that original Blue Beetle body buck, he has this sculpted line here for the boot. And that's kind of a giveaway. But the figure's proportions are extremely super heroic. He's got this broad chest, muscular arms, thick legs. You know, he looks like a superhero. Now, if I was a kid and I saw this figure on the pegs, I'd be like, who is this guy? Is he a villain? Is he a hero? So you can't really tell. If you don't know who Animal Man is, take a look. He's got a claw hand from a bird. He's packed with this crazy looking creature, a wolverine that's gnarly and ready to bite your face off. I'm like, is he a hero or villain? I don't know, but he'd be kind of cool if he was maybe teaming up with the Flash or maybe going against Superman. It just has that almost generic look that could qualify him as a hero or a villain. But as a DC character, and a character I know and I've seen in lots of comics, I really appreciate the attention to detail giving us this look, but not the complete package. Because I bet one day we're going to get another version of Booster Gold, maybe in a two-pack or something. I'm feeling it that he will have that jacket like he should. Uh, hopefully one day. Otherwise, I am kind of thinking, leaning towards some of the uh, Mattel... WWE figures. I'm trying to scout out some that have that kind of a kind of a biker jacket that kind of transition onto this figure. But as you can see here, he's been used quite a few times, and um, to varying degrees of success. I mean, some of these figures look absolutely fantastic in the package, not so much. But once you get these figures out, move them around, play around with the articulation, you're going to be really surprised how articulated and well designed these figures are. Their articulation holds, no loose joints, no kind of weird uh, kind of gapage, so to speak, when you put him in poses. He looks fantastic, and all of these figures performed extremely well when I put them through the rigors of doing some crazy posing. So, Animal Man, very impressed with them. The articulation is, like I said, fluid. There's no hiccups, nothing hindering it. And the figure has a really good substantial weight to it. It doesn't feel hollow, doesn't feel cheap, feels like you're getting a substantial figure that, man, I'm very happy to add into my collection. He's got the standard articulation that you know and love. He's got the a bit of a side attitude going on. He'll look down, look up. I am almost thinking about replacing this neck peg with an extended longer neck peg because it does just kind of sit a little bit low, and I think he would be... Uh, blessed with a bit more articulation in that neck to give a bit more expression. But what they did here is really nice too. They painted this in black so it matches the overall outfit. And they didn't skimp out on that. So I appreciate it very much, McFarlane. The one thing he does have is kind of a weird small hand. It's kind of small. I don't know. I would expect his fist to be just a little bit larger. But we'll see um, how it compares with the other figures as well. Now, he does have some abdominal articulation. He can go back quite a bit. He's got that spacer there. So you do have a good range of motion for butterfly hinge and everything else going on. Bicep cut, double-jointed ratcheted elbows, full articulation in the wrist. You got ball joints at the hips, full articulation in the waist, double-jointed ratcheted knees. He's got all sorts of articulation in the boot area, the toe cut, swivel, the pin. The ball joint is nicely sculpted into the boot as well. And man, this figure, it's different. It's, I'd almost say a little bit of a game changer, this body buck. So it started off with the Blue Beetle. I love Blue Beetle. I love finally having a classic Ted Cord figure in my collection. There has been a second version of this one in a lighter blue with a different kind of shape on the lens. The only thing holding this back, why the heck are we not getting clear lenses on these figures? Blows my mind, but I digress. We do have this kind of web launcher here, or beetle launcher. It looks really nice. The figure's articulation paint job is just top notch. It looks so good. They use that cut on the boot here to give him that extra little lining of black, and it suits him to a T. I played around with this figure, and man, let's just do some posing, because we can get him into some wild poses. You know, Blue Beetle, he's like a super acrobatic kind of character. You can move him around, all sorts of stuff like he is in the comics. Like, you can get him in some wild kind of Spider-Man-esque poses going on. And, man, his joints are tight. His joints feel solid. They're freaking fantastic. 
I absolutely love the way this figure is engineered. Man, it's impressive to see what we can do and how Farm McFarlane has come along with articulation and design. Yeah, like every toy company, they do kind of falter sometimes. They make mistakes. They fumble the ball, but they pick it back up and they run it down for a touchdown. That's what I'm thinking. And that's what I'm saying. We've seen some companies just kind of lay on their laurels, not really upgrade or change things. And some, they're taking huge steps to give us the best product they can. And for the first couple of years, you know, McFarlane was using brand new body sculpts on almost every single figure. Now they found an incredibly good, useful, almost like a generic body buck that they can stamp on some logos and different kind of designs and they can make a lot of characters. And you can see in the background here, we've got Captain Adam, a figure that I am so happy to have in my collection, another gold label. And he's using that same body buck. And after playing around with these figures, you know you're gonna get a killer awesome figure out of this buck. We also got the Riddler. Now the Riddler, I love this design for the figure. He came packed with like, you know, an extra three set of hands, that really nice cane, and he looks just awesome. Dead Man, another tough to find figure. This was a Walmart exclusive here in Canada. They used the body buck really well. It just looks fantastic. Head sculpt is really cool. I love these aspirations that you can attach onto his back. It looks so great. And then the new Green Lantern as well. He looks fantastic. I'm so happy they used this body buck for him instead of maybe some original Green Lantern body buck they used for that first time around in that two pack with the really long gangly arms. The proportions of this guy is gonna be awesome. He's gonna look super heroic. I can't wait to open him up and review him. But yeah, there's some really interesting things going on with this figure. I like the way they use Booster Gold. We're getting another version of Booster Gold very shortly. I believe in August he's coming out in Canada or July, something like that. It's going to be a more contemporary comic, accurate kind of costume with a really dark blue and gold, which is going to be nice. I'm not going to go too much into the Nightwing figure because i'm gonna do a separate review on this figure i got a lot of points of contention some good stuff bad stuff and we'll definitely save my thoughts and opinions for his solo review but i'm just showing you off the body bucks animal man i think is a tremendous value considering he's very similar on what you get with that superman figure from the mcfarland collector series and he's like about you know 10 bucks cheaper as well so it's very interesting to see the economics that McFarlane's using for some of these pricing and some of the figures that he's putting out. But overall, guys, Animal Man is a stellar home run hit. I think if you're going to get a figure that is using this body buck, you're going to be in for a pleasant surprise. You're going to be in for a really substantial figure. And I'm extremely happy that they have this generic body buck to use on some secondary characters that we might not have seen because of tooling costs might have been too much. So it's great to see it being put to extremely good use. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for a lot more videos. Take it easy, guys.